new era begins at Liverpool Football Club today as Jurgen Klopp steps into the managerial hot seat. He'll be unveiled as the Reds' new boss at a press conference this morning. He's passionate, he's a bit of a maverick I think as well, you know, and I think because of that I think he'll really excite the crowd and I think he'll just give the fans and the club just a real lift. We've clearly got a manager here who is tenacious, he's got a bit of a bit of character about him so it should be an exciting appointment, he plays a, a nice attacking style of football. I really feel it's a move forward and Liverpool fans deserve him and he deserves Liverpool. The mood of commuters at Lime Street was mirrored across the city in the LFC TV studios. Very good morning to you. It's the first day of the Jurgen Klopp era at Anfield. Your initial reaction, Mark? Well, you know what, I'm, I'm going to show you guys saying, when we just walked into this building this morning, you can feel the excitement. It's, it's palpable, isn't it? And everyone's like, whoa, I'm not saying they're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed because you've all been here all overnight, <laughs> but you can just sense that it, it feels like like a new dawn, a new era, crossroads moment, whatever you want to call it. I think it's not often you get a manager appointment where everybody is yeah. unanimous about the decision. Yeah. I think we're in for one heck of a ride. Meanwhile at Anfield, the new manager was being shown round his new home by Chief Exec Ian Eyre and Club Chairman Tom Werner. Next, as well as meeting the stadium staff, there was a visit to a place he'll be getting to know intimately over the coming years. The new Liverpool boss already seeming totally in his element. While Klopp posed for the obligatory photo by the iconic This Is Anfield sign, across the pitch in the centenary stand, the world's press gathered in their droves, eagerly awaiting the official unveiling of the manager of Liverpool Football Club. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Anfield. Thank you for taking time to come to our press conference. To kick us off from LFC TV is Peter McDonald. Good morning, Jürgen. Welcome to Liverpool Football Club. Tell us, what attracted you then to the challenge here at Liverpool? The intensity of the of the football, um, of football, how the people live football in Liverpool or around Liverpool, all Liverpool fans um, all over the world. So it's not a normal or usual club, it's a special club and um, if I, I had two very, very special clubs with Mainz 05 and Borussia Dortmund and um, yeah, in this row it's a perfect next step for me to, to be now here and yes, Try to help. One for you, Ian, if I may. What makes Jurgen the right man for the job? Well, when we obviously started the search, it, it was important that we um, we found somebody who we believe could bring success to the club. It was important that um, we brought somebody who could take on the the size, the might, and the ambition of the club. And and you know, Jurgen certainly ticks those boxes. And then I think when we spend time together, myself, the owners, and Jurgen, I think. You know, you get a feeling. You know, it's like any relationship. I guess there's a connection and there's a and there's an understanding of the the culture of this football club. And and it was you know it was very it was good to, to feel that from Jurgen that you know he really understood the size and the reach and the and the ambition of the club. And that makes for a great relationship. The arrival of Jurgen Klopp signals a new start, a new mentality, and a clean slate for all. They have to to think that they can reach the expectations of all the other people, of all the fans, of all the, the press or whatever. So if somebody wants to help LFC, you have to change from doubter to believer. His team have been renowned for their high intensity attacking play. Entertainment comes first. It's emotion inside, it's speed, it's um, all the things what makes football interesting for me. I said this word full throttle football and in Dortmund I know but my god I cannot say always the same things and but if it will be full throttle football it's not so bad. When quizzed on the process of signing players Klopp was typically relaxed. For me it's enough that I have the first and the last word. In the middle these two words we can discuss about everything. I'm not a genius, I don't know more than the rest of the world. I need the other people to get the perfect information and when we have this then we will sign with the player or sell a player or whatever but um, it's really easy to handle this. 
As for Klopp's ambitions at Anfield, his sights are set on the trophy that's eluded Liverpool for 25 years. When I'm sitting in four years, I think we won one title in this time. I, I'm pretty sure. If not, the next one, maybe Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> A new boss was reminded of Jose Mourinho's special one introduction into English football. Klopp's response was far more humble. So I'm a totally normal guy. Um, I'm the normal one, maybe, if you want this. Uh, uh. By this point, the response on social media to those comments in particular were threatening to break the internet. It appears the appointment and Klopp's infectious enthusiasm had really captured the imagination. Jurgen Klopp's first day at Anfield felt like a hugely significant one for Liverpool as the Reds begin an exciting new chapter, invigorated by the arrival of the charismatic German. If we want, this could be a real special day. If we want. And if you are prepared to work for it, if you want, if you are patient enough, all these things. Please give us the time. When I left Dortmund, my, my last sentence maybe were, it's not so important what people think when you come in much more important what people think when you leave. <laughs>